Hey guys, David here from Google to 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable the Windows Arrow theme in Windows under VirtualBox. Okay, so let's get started. So if you installed Windows Vista 7 or 8 under VirtualBox, you probably noticed that the Windows Arrow theme is not enabled even after installing guest editions. Now this is because there's just a special trick when you go ahead and install guest editions that you need to do in order to be able to turn on the Windows Arrow theme in Windows under VirtualBox. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So here I have Windows 7 running. It does not have guest editions installed yet. If yours already does have it installed, you're going to want to uninstall it because you have to reinstall it. In order to install guest editions in your host OS, you need to go up to Devices and just hit Install Guest Editions. And then in your guest OS, you can go to Start, Computer, and you should see the VirtualBox Guest Editions is mounted. So go ahead and double click it, and then double click the VBox Windows Editions. When the wizard comes up, hit Next, hit Next again. And here's where you make the decision. In order to enable Windows Arrow theme, you actually have to install Direct3D support. Now, if we scroll over here, you can see that it does say it's an experimental stage. This might not work properly with some applications. I know I've had problems with Google Chrome in VirtualBox after this has been installed, so just keep that in mind. But overall, it does work pretty well. So just check this box here. Now this message box is going to come up. You're probably going to want to hit yes. This is where most people make the mistake. You actually want to click no on this box because if you click yes, it's not gonna install the proper direct 3D support that we need to enable the Windows Arrow theme. So after you hit no, this might come up, just hit okay and hit install. When it asks if you want to install this device software, just select Always Trust Software from Oracle Corporation and hit install. Okay, so once it's done installing, you're actually going to want to hit I want to manually reboot later and then hit finish. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and close the virtual machine. So just by hitting the X and hitting power off the machine. And then in your virtual machine manager, you're going to want to find the Windows virtual machine, select it and then hit settings. Then go over to display and make sure that enable 3D acceleration is checked and your video memory should be at the max it can go for this to work well. Hit OK once that's done and now go ahead and restart your virtual machine. So go ahead and start up the virtual machine. And you can see here that it has started up and it's running in a higher resolution which means that VirtualBox guest editions have been installed correctly. So I'll just go ahead and log in here. And now after you've logged back in, you'll see that we are still at the basic theme. So in order to enable Windows Arrow, you have to right click the desktop, go to personalize and select one of the Arrow themes. I'm just gonna choose the default Windows 7 theme here. And you could see now that the Arrow theme is fully functional and it is working correctly. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.gugu55techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below.